Chio, and welcome to this episode of Cherokee History and Stories. What happened here? My name is Kathy Littlejohn, and we're exploring the Cherokee Valley towns, historic sites, and the stories associated with those sites. Today, we're in pre present day Murphy, North Carolina, on Tennessee Street, under the bridge, at the confluence or junction of the valley and the Hiawassee Rivers. In 1847, George Featherstone Haw, a British traveler, wrote in his journal, I entered the pleasant valley through which the valley river runs. This was the paradise of the Cherokees. Throughout the clay and Cherokee County of southwestern North Carolina, there were seven townhouses, two stickball fields, four stores, a grist mill, and hundreds of Cherokee people. For thousands of years, Cherokees raised their crops and their children, fished and hunted and traded, danced and worshiped, and told stories. They told stories about this place. Now, Cherokee speakers today still refer to Murphy, North Carolina as Zanu Shi'i, the leech place. One of the stories is about a young Cherokee mother who was complaining to her mother and said, I want to go fishing. I'm tired of eating this fat meat. Taking her baby and her mother, they came here. And as the young woman was standing on a ledge that used to stretch across the stream, she was tying her line when all of a sudden the water began to boil and a great foam of water washed up over the ledge right where the baby had been. Fortunately, they saw the water in time and grabbed the baby and ran for safety. They tried to warn others and others came to look and they could see down in this water ripples and something moving, something huge. As the leech travels and uses this stream to go on up to the Nolte River, which is also called the Leech Place. Now one day a group of Cherokee men were walking near here and were about to cross over on the rock ledge. When up above them they saw something huge, as great as a house. And as they watched, it unrolled itself and crawled down the rock cliff into the water below. They could see that it had red and white stripes along the length of its body, and they could see that it was a giant leech. While the men were standing there, all of a sudden the water began to boil and a great wave of water washed over the ledge. If they had not been watching and had not run away, they too would have been swept into the water. They warned everyone around about this place. But every once in a while, an unwary traveler would be washed away and they would find his or her body on the bank below with its nose and its ears eaten off. Hearing these stories, a young man that lived here in the village laughed and said he wasn't afraid of anything in the Valley River. And one day as he was boasting, he dressed in his finest clothes and painted his face and walked to the leech place, singing this song as he went. I'll tie red leech skins on my legs as garters. Looking back at the people who were following him at a distance to see what was going to happen, he continued singing that song loudly and walked out on the rock ledge cliff. Sure enough, the water began to boil and a great wave washed over him and he was never seen again. There's a great deal of history to be learned through the valley towns, and it's well worth the time for you to come and explore also. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Cherokee History and Stories, What Happened Here?